Oh, Jamie, you pulled up why Alex was banned too, which is, you know, it's not very clear. Like when, when you think about the fact that they were saying that he had never done anything on their platform that was bannable. And then what was the one final thing? Like, and it, Jack didn't know what he, it was. He got in, he confronted Oliver Darcy of CNN uh, in DC and for several minutes was yelling at him while they filmed. And apparently that's my understanding was the justification for banning him that he was harassing a journalist or something that effect, which is in my opinion, absurd. And, well, and was I, he I, doing it on Twitter? Um, I Periscope. guess they post it to Periscope. Twitter. Live on Periscope, which there, is a Twitter, yeah. Twitter own platform. So if you do something on Periscope, they could get you banned from Twitter. Well, that's the same thing, right? Yeah, the same. Because they're connected. They, yeah. I don't know at what point last. I think it was last year. There was like an, an announcement. I saw it on Twitch, but I think it also happened on YouTube. They like collectively said, if you do something on our platform, uh, I'm sorry, if you do something on another platform, and we see that, <clears throat> you could lose your status on our platform too. Or if and, you, or like, and, that, that means public also. And we see that with, with Patreon, but I don't want to deviate into Patreon. Yeah, just, we, can, you know, we can get yeah. to that later. But So, so I, in my opinion... So it, it's make, it makes a good point. How does Alex Jones get banned for giving that guy a hard time, but Kathy Griffin doesn't get banned for literally calling for these children? Leading a harassment names. campaign against I want kids. names. Uh, yeah. Someone with millions of followers led a harassment campaign... I'm going to use their language, yeah. right? If, if you're calling on your followers to do something, you are, you're engaging in a campaign. Yeah. But Alex Jones confronting the journalist who advocated for his banning is a bannable offense. Now, here's the important thing about Jones. Oliver Darcy said on CNN, it wasn't that Jones broke the rules that got him banned because, you know, what, what Darcy said is he's been breaking the rules in the past. They never cared. It was only because of media pressure they took action against him. Okay. Well, we know many other people break the rules. We know far left accounts have doxed law enforcement. We know Kathy Griffin led a harassment campaign. There's no media pressure. That's one of the big problems. Twitter knows conservatives aren't going to be able to level any kind of campaign against their platform. They're just not scared of it. Right. But, you know, I often wonder why is it that as, as, as prominent and powerful as conservative groups can be, why they often lose these cultural battles. And I'm not going to say this is the primary reason, but I will point out, do, does, does Twitter believe that, um, you know, I often use Sargon of Akkad as an example, the, the liberalist anti sw character. Do they believe he'll lead a group of liberal liberalists and, and individualists to Twitter headquarters with crowbars and Molotov cocktails? Of course not. So they, what did he get banned for? Um, my under, he, he, uh, Cause I know what happened or, with Patreon, but what happened his, with his original Twitter thing was that he posted an image of interracial gay porn at white nationalists. <laughs> so... <laughs> But I don't, I, I don't, I think that was the first time. And then he got he like, banned he, for that. He, he, well, he, then he came back to the platform and then got, um, I don't know what happened the second time. I think it was well, banned evasion. Well, what or something. are the, the porn rules? Because sometimes I'll be scrolling through my feed and you'll just see porn. My understanding is it's not allowed. I porn's just not allowed. I mean, but what about porn stars? I, but I've heard it is. I've heard it. I've heard it is allowed and I've heard it isn't. And well, it's definitely there. Yeah. 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 It's so like porn stars have porn. If you go to a porn stars page, you'll see porn yeah, on it. A lot of it. Yeah, like real penetration porn. They don't care. Hmm. Or, or maybe there's there's the truce I between. Think it has to get marked by someone as saying this is inappropriate, and if enough people that follow a porn star don't think it's inappropriate, it doesn't then get flagged in the system. Well, that's hilarious. Wait, this is, this is, I think, this is good news. I think. I think we may have found the uh, the Switzerland of the culture war. Porn. Yeah, no one wants to ban porn. <laughs> the, 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 the left and the right, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on, hold on. Not, it's okay. It's not okay. Porn. It's okay. We can ban them for their ideas. Yeah. But just leave the porn alone. Yeah. But but the point okay. I was making is you see Antifa at Berkeley, yeah, hundred thousand dollars worth of damage, throwing Molotov cocktails, threatening people. In uh, in Portland, you had a Bernie voter carrying an American flag. These uh, anti fascists, the Antifa, tried stealing the flag from him, clubbed him over the head, gave him a concussion, put him in the hospital. So when I see the the ramifications of ire from the left or the right, what does what do conservatives do? I mean, the GOP couldn't even find a yearbook in the Virginia governor race. I don't think they're considered to be that big of a cultural threat. They react to things. They get upset about things that are unfair against them, but they don't go through the streets with clubs and bricks and smash windows like Antifa and other you know far leftists do. So well, if they do, they're considered racist. It's always like some sort of a racist mob. That was the, that's like the label they get put on them, right? Yeah, 